So lately we've been hauling a lot of corn out of Area 21 and I've been hauling fertilizer and corn in between. And I just came up to these bends to check if we have the centers pulled yet. So when I say pulling centers, when you fill the bend up during harvest, you have it coned up towards the top part of the bend. And obviously the first thing you always wanna do when you start hauling out is you pull from the very center sump and the bottom of the bend and get this cone inverted. The reason you wanna get the center pulled right away is so that grain doesn't settle to one side of the bend, causing the bend to settle weird or get weird weight distribution on the bend. It's not super common, but sometimes you can get buckles in the sidewalls. So you always wanna get the center pulled as soon as you can. Another reason for that, especially if you have side draws like we do, is you always, once you're ready to start hauling corn, you wanna pull the center first before you start lowering the side draw. So that side over there isn't just heavy on corn, which can also cause the sidewall of the bend to buckle. But this year, since it's our first year with these this big of bend, we decided that we're gonna load everything out of the center of the bend. So we're gonna you know pull everything through the center, sump down on the bottom, put it in the overhead and load it out that way. Biggest reason for that is these bins are 180,000 bushels. And if you do the math, let me do it quick. There's over 10 million pounds of grain in this bin when it's full. We could use the side draws, but if we pull that center, then load out the side draw and the soil is still a little soft, the opposite side could settle a little more. So we wanna make sure we get a good even settle on both these bins this first year go around, then next year we'll be able to use a side draw and not have to worry about something settling uneven. Only hauled about 42 loads out and it doesn't even feel like we made a dent. We've just barely got both bends coned out. The first bend back to the south is coned out. This one isn't quite completely coned out. As you can see, it's still higher there than it is the wall. You know it's completely coned out when it's a nice even cone all the way down to the center. It is currently December 9th. Usually this time of year, I wouldn't be able to stand up here comfortably. This would be cold or chilly or frost and snowy out. This is awesome. Can't beat an Iowa sunset. We're back. Let's get these axles on there, huh? You got that, Devin? Okay, here we go. Those suckers are heavy. Okay, slight change of plans. You're probably wondering why you pull the hay trailer out. Here's the deal. Problem is, they're 58 on Spring Center, and our trailer is 54. So before we even got them, I knew we we're gonna have to do some kind of modification. We just weren't sure to what extent it was gonna be. Now we know. These axles have what's called a perch mount. The springs set right here. That is welded. Well, this needs to move two inches on center in. So what we have to do, we have to cut this off, grind it down nice, get this smooth. I ordered uh, four new perch mounts for a three inch diameter axle, which this is and we'll weld them on there. This project has been put on hold. In the meantime, Dad's gonna pull Bobcat in and uh, blue trailer as we call it. That's no longer gonna be the blue trailer. It's gonna be simply known as the all black triple axle. We gotta put a new tarp on. Kind of a hodgepodge things going on, but it's just the way it goes. It's the way she goes, Bubbles. Earlier, we took the fuel tank and the def tank off of the blue power stroke for winter storage. See that there? Now that truck is uh, free. It's free to actually use it as a flatbed now. Let's see if we can get this tarp on. Ugh, shouldn't be too bad, but what do we? What happens when we say it shouldn't be too bad? It gets worse and then it takes all day, or well, multiple days, it's a never ending project. So we're gonna assume that it's gonna take us three days 
Um, nothing we do is gonna go the way we want. And if you expect that, then hopefully it's easier than you expect it to be. If that makes sense. It makes perfect sense. Expect the worst, hope for the best. That's right. We got snow. Yeah, sloppy, messy snow. You know, nothing crazy, but here we are. It's here. Yesterday I didn't do any filming. Kind of cold and windy out. And I was outside most of the day, moving equipment around. I washed the inside of the 790. Uh, Honey Badger got the outside pretty well washed. So I washed inside the hopper. Fathers of young boys and young men, teach your sons to pack their own lunch so they don't rob your lunch. You're guilty too. Yeah, that's right. Walk away. Walk away. Old tarp is off. Hi, right, boys. Let's see if we can get the new bad boy on there. This trailer also had automatic tarp. We are getting rid of that because automatic tarps are junk. So we're putting a manual tarp on it. New pipe, comes in two sections. Gotta weld the joint. Right there. You ever wonder what to do with your old junk battery chargers? Just use them as a, a stand for put stuff on. Movable sawhorse. Yeah, it's, it's a sawhorse on wheels. Gotta quit a little early today. Gotta go to a wedding. So, hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. We're back! Beautiful Sunday morning today. Oh, what a wonderful greeting. Miss Blaze, how you doing, sweetie? We're gonna get this tarp done today. At least that's the plan. Just took that thing off. Now look at that clean back. So much easier to wash. Now all that's gonna be up there is the handle for the manual tarp, which when you wash it, you can simply unhook it and let it hang. And you can clean the back so much easier. Fitness, integrity, and most of all, honesty. And a manual roll tarp makes a boy into a man. We're gonna put the big tube in now. in. Oh, yeah. Look at that thing. Nice. Now we got to drill little plastic holder things that hold the pipe taut to the tarp. One every three or four feet or so. Boom, 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 boom. That's what they look like. That right. yep. self-tapping screw. You still have to do a pilot hole. Do them everywhere where the seat belt is. Got 
all the plastic fasteners on. Now we're just getting the hurricane straps wrapped up. Hurricane straps are elastic bands that go over the tarp to keep it from flopping around in the wind. Got our crank handle on, knuckle handle. We got a new uh, stand for our phones. We can take some better video clips. See how close we can get here. Where that comes up, that protects that right there. Look how close that is. Look at the precision of that. Keep going. Actually, by hitting that, it just helps it keep it tall. Send her back home. Got this all taped up here. So. Comes down. Moves over itself. That comes out. Release itself. Comes down over the end. Tighten her up. Sure lock it. Love the manual tarp. Yeah. Ugh. Manual tarps are for man farms. Tarp's all done. Now we're just gonna wash a couple trucks. Just got done with the tarp. Everything looks good on that. Now I'm gonna change this tire out quick before we wash it. This is an old pitted wheel that we had on here just as a spare. So we're gonna get a nice clean aluminum tire on there. fails naturally the wheel seized on there pretty good i hit it with a sledge and it doesn't want to budge and break loose at all so i got our fancy little tool here i don't know what the technical name of it is but basically you mount it up here put two of the lugs back on and it pressurizes against the studs and then you got some chains with some hooks that you hook up to the opening on the wheels and then you tighten these two nuts up that's supposed to help leverage the wheel off. like that, tool comes in so handy. Okay, time to torque them to spec. Tires all changed, ready to go. Time to wash this filthy girl up. Semi is all cleaned up. I'm gonna let it dry here for about half an hour to an hour. We'll back it out, bring big red 2020 in, get it washed up, be ready to go for the week. Tarp. Red truck is cleaned up, ready to roll for the week. Feels good getting trucks all cleaned up. That's gonna be it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, we'll see you in the funnies.